All right, what's up, boys? Um, I know I haven't uploaded in like fucking what month, month and a half, but I think I'm, I think I'm like, no, I really can't say I'm big enough to upload like every month because even the guys even the youtubers that are big upload fucking every week so i can't even bring up an excuse to be honest but honestly the reason i don't upload is because i stream on twitch and most of my followers i mean most of my subscribers know this already but some of my subscribers like the people that came from youtube they don't know that i stream on twitch so, just want to let you guys know that I do stream on Twitch and I stream. Um, by the way, my screen size is small. Uh, my desktop screen is small. If you guys are wondering why it's small, it's because. And shit, I have my OBS open like that. My, my bad. I didn't mean to have it open like that, so you might get like a f weird uh, picture. Anyway. The reason my screen is so small is because I it's my stream setup, it's my OBS setup, and uh, my OBS setup is with my um, console and my camera, not really my Windows 10 screen or Windows 10 display, so I don't usually have my Windows 10 display on, most of the time I'm streaming with Xbox One display, and um, by the way, what you're seeing in the background, in the full background, is the uh, Xbox One display um, behind the uh, Windows 10 display. So, if you guys are wondering what's in the background, that's what it is. Um, shit, I got a message. Never mind. Um, anyway, I'm trying to like freaking go fast here because I'm here to show you guys how to uh, do the uh, pretty much not really gonna show you guys how to do this like the uh vantage um how to like modify games on vantage tool which is right there let me open it up i'm not really gonna show you guys how to modify it but i'm gonna like i have like kind of done some steps to uh get myself there um I gave people news that I'm modifying GTA 5. Uh, that's true. I did a um, post on Discord. Uh, people asked me like if I'm modding GTA 5 anytime soon. I am, but not yet. Um, that's my project right there. I'm kind of still working on it. So when you like click on the project, by the way, let me let me do this real quick. Like say I click on the project, right? This is gonna come up, developer tools. Um, you guys probably shouldn't fuck with this. This is like a debug to uh, the Vantage software, editing the software. So don't fuck with that. What I'm gonna show you guys is this. Uh, what you guys should be downloading right now is GitHub Desktop. I'll post all the links in the description too. You, should, you guys should be downloading GitHub Desktop. Uh, I'll show you guys this too. GitHub Desktop. It's gonna pretty much allow you guys to post your editors on modding uh, website, like the best modding website and the most free. Well, if you guys want to make your editor uh, freely downloadable, publishable, then get GitHub Desktop. If not, don't get it. Well, I would still recommend to get it because you guys still have to download. Uh, this i'll show you guys what you have to download um let's click on so basically when you go to vantage this is already this is also like the steps how to like get like how to like be able to mod or like make your own pretty much what i'm showing you is making your own editor uh your modding editor on like your game editor um for the for the vantage tool so let's see this uh yeah so the mods are listed over here as you guys can see right so pretty much um the way this is done the way everybody does this the way everybody makes these mods which i didn't even know they made all these mods before because i thought arc survival 
mods were only on the tool made by unknown v2 but anyway uh long story short i gotta i'm gonna, I'm gonna be really quick with this uh so you're gonna click create an editor i think or let's see yeah create an editor and it's gonna take you why am i getting all these fucking messages it's gonna take you to this website then you're gonna do i'm sorry about this also because i'm sick i'm like really really sick right now i don't know why i made this video like today but i really wanted to because i haven't made a video in like so long so it's gonna you're gonna come to this website and then you're gonna download this you're gonna clone and download this uh folder now i've showed you this video before like showing you to download it i just want to like walk you through the steps one more time and i don't think it was like clear enough by the way last time i did it i think this will be i think this will be a more clear um you know step-by-step -step tutorial so you're gonna download this you're gonna go to this website download this and um let's see yeah let me go through that website again so yeah click uh, clone or download and it's gonna download it and then when you download it you're gonna get uh where the hell did i put it i don't know if it's in here yeah so you're gonna get i'll show you like like this in, in this order you're gonna get this whole thing um and i'm trying to find a freaking let me see if it's in here all right cool so you're gonna get a, you're gonna get this to be honest you're gonna get a winrar folder but if you don't have winrar you have to download winrar too winrar is a software that's that's for zip folders um like locked folders pretty much I'm, I'm i'm breaking this down because i feel like a lot of people are so fucking like terrible with computers they they have to know every fucking single thing so i'm just breaking this shit down so even your dumbest person can do this shit by himself uh even though i'm not even done with this modding process yet i'm still working on the modding process so um yeah so you're gonna download winrar you're gonna go to winrar just type just go to google and fucking type in winrar on google and then download it it's really fucking easy download that install it once you install it then download this then download the modding folder like go here after you get winrar after you install winrar then download that right here and then once you download that shit uh i probably opened this up two times i wasn't supposed to do that yeah so you're gonna you're gonna go inside that folder that modding folder you downloaded you're gonna take out you're gonna take out this and you're gonna put it on your desktop literally just take it out boom put it on your desktop and just say i'm gonna say replace it's not gonna be saying that when you when you put it on your desktop i just have like a duplicate copy that's why i saying that so double click that double click the modding folder once you double click it i'm gonna show you what's in it um and i'm gonna show you what you should open what you shouldn't open so basically the way now i'm gonna explain to you some some of the stuff how vantage works and how um the aurelia project works which is like a coding system built uh like aurelia is pretty much what people use to build vantage i think either aurelia or node.js which they're they're really fucking close like aurelia is pretty much like a part of J node.js so it's kind of like built with it and it's like an app like a really fucking small app and it and um it can run this mod right here because this is like a mod this is like a it's pretty much a editor this this right here uh is an editor made by the vantage team vantage team made this editor themselves so this is pretty much how a copy of an editor would look and i'm going to show you guys how to make a copy that's empty that's just fresh copy like without anything in it um I'm gonna show you guys how 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 uh I'm gonna show you guys how uh Vantage team built this editor on their uh, and posted it to GitHub uh to this website because they they post all their shit to this website. So uh let's see. So we're gonna go to 
let's see where we're gonna go oh there's so many things i gotta do like literally but first i'm gonna show you this um let's go let's let me explain you this first all right so um first things first you also need to download notepad plus plus uh i would recommend you download notepad no notepad uh plus plus it's um i don't know why like i can't talk today uh so sorry about that but anyway this is pretty much notepad plus plus is pretty much a modding i mean another like coding uh code dip decrypting tool it can help you like you know edit a bunch of files that are like encrypted with different uh lang coding languages and it'll kind of like break them down and you can see it like this so like package json file it's not easily a decryptable file unless you have this software notepad plus plus it decrypts the file and it shows you uh you know what's inside the file in english so you can see it like what coding is in it so you can change it modify it to what you want it to be so and this is like so funny to me right now because like after i installed aurelia cli and all that shit like it was like fucking water to me because i mean it was like so easy you know like second nature because like the aurelia cli makes the whole folder for you like it makes this shit oh where's the folder so the aurelia cli it makes all this shit for you it makes all of this for you like empty copies of all this for you so you can just literally like go in there and just like do your coding and you literally don't have to get this from um you know vantage team's website you don't have to go and get this shit you don't need it but i'm gonna show you guys how to do it because they vantage team kind of codes it for you a little bit and it puts like you know like the things that you have to edit they they kind of tell you what you have to edit in the file so you can uh, you know quickly start your own editor and uh that kind of did help me i mean in that sense vantage team was helpful because it kind of tells like you know they kind of help you and tell you like you know what you actually have to change in the file to make this shit work like because it's not gonna work if you don't know what you have to change and you know put on the uh, vantage uh tool um so the way to go about it anyway i have wasted so much time but uh the way to go about it is you have to change um scid here which is your game id and also yeah i have to tell you this too so i'm gonna show you something all right so storage explorer right so storage explorer recognizes every game you have on your console every single game that you have in your xbox one every single every single game that you play that you register or you're like bought or whatever you know disc or if it's whether it's disc or digital digitally bought it like your xbox has a you know memory of it an actual memory of it and um whether it's it's it, you know it can be a cloud memory and i think it's since this software using mostly cloud memory i think it's mostly on cloud but um this is all the games that i have and i recognize them all so you guys should see all your games and since it recognizes all your games it can go inside of them too but the way it works is it's totally different like now you i mean you can see how it says no saves right and the vantage team has said that it only works on no um uh, what is it called uh play anywhere games so and if you say play anywhere that's kind of fucked up and it's kind of not true because they they made a mod for call of duty Modern warfare remastered which is not a play anywhere game so that being said it's not true it's half true not, to be honest it's not true at all because if it i mean if it was the case they couldn't have made a mod for you know call of duty Modern warfare remastered it's not it's not it's call of duty is not anywhere an exclusive title for xbox one it's just not it's for every console so it's not play anywhere a game and it can be modded but and it and it and it says no saves here but like you know they have editors for it i mean not not over here but you know you guys probably remember i, I posted a video a while ago and they have editors for it anyway 
so the way to um you know get these saves is to make an editor code the editor and add it to the mods on your advantage tool that's gonna help you you know get the mods on there like and and you guys can tell from here too i mean arc survival well, arc kind of you could say like let's see i would say like even uh fallout shelter that's not a exclusive game and resident evil 7 that's definitely not an exclusive game you know what i mean so it's definitely not the tr not the case um a lot of people believe that it's like you know exclusive titles only but it's not um anyway so basically what you need to edit like right now i'm going to tell you this what you need to edit is your like there's a lot of stuff too so you know you can edit all this but i'm gonna i'm gonna like break it down to like what i'm what i would suggest um pretty much all this i would say you have to edit and if you want you can edit this too but i wouldn't recommend that it's that's bullshit i wouldn't even do it um so you know i'm gonna explain you and like everything that this tells you like game uh that 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 one right there the game uh would be your game name your editor name pretty much well it, it's it's the editor name and your game name for your editor kind of same shit um this is gonna be your like editor information and then this is gonna be all about your game i think that's that's what i think it is or no 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 actually i'm wrong that's for that's for your uh editor information too because it says campaign editor name campaign editor and you just change it to you know whatever you want to call it so say for example if you change that it would change let's see it would change this right here so if you change that if you change the name game editor how long have i been recording for 17 minutes already jesus okay that's fucked up so yeah sorry about that guys so game name that's gonna change your you know right there the name editor and then it's uh let's move on to the next thing uh container filter so this two right here is your um those two is your save game uh that's how you pretty much like get your save game from from your game and to be honest people have been working on like trying to fix trying to get the save game from your console that's the biggest thing like making the editor like the biggest part of it it is making mods for the game too but it's mostly to get your game save like into your pc so you can see what the fuck's going on i mean you can do you can make mods but you have to be able to get your game save like you know from your cloud to your uh, vantage tool you have to be able to click this and find your game save if you can do that then that's where the next step comes which then you're editing your then you're making your mods for that game and you can by by fucking chance man you can make like the mod menu for your gta 5 you can do it you can legit do it i mean uh people did mod menus on gta 5 on 360 with just freaking usbs with save game mods you know and like not just on uh gta 5 but on modern warfare 2 they made the uh, freaking uh cfg mods with fucking you know uh just save game mods you know they coded that shit into the split screen then it loaded it to the game so it's possible anything is possible don't 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 tell yourself nothing is you know this is going to be impossible to do it's possible you just have to work on it and i'm working on it too um i'm working on a gta 5 mod right now so just want to let you guys i'm going to release it soon but um yeah so you have to edit that then your game name then your scid i'm going to show you guys that right now your scid is um this right here let me see if i can maximize this shit all right so your scid is this right here so this thing in the bottom of your game is your scid and once you get that uh you that's pretty much like the title of your game unofficial title of your game so once you get that you put it on 
you you put it in this file in this section right here STID and you replace those zeros with that num with those uh you know values in in your advantage tool so whatever it gives you in your tool in storage explorer from that game you put it in there and then thumbnail this is pretty much a picture of your editor like this right here it changes that it changes your picture um and you can make like a freaking online picture for it you know that's pretty fucking easy i probably shouldn't tell you guys what i mean i mean it's you don't have to make that picture so it's just most most important thing is making the mods um but yeah what you guys should be focusing on this these two right here container filter and your file filter save game uh and save dot svg that's how you get your save game so you have to like i've been working on it too but that's what that's what i've been telling people you gotta focus on that you gotta know how to code your save game container so you can actually get your save game you know um because that's all it is when you load an editor you have to select file and you have to be able to you have to be able to see your save game right here in cloud saves it has to show up in cloud saves that's how you know you got your save game because locally that shit will not work i mean you can open it but you have to have a file here loaded for you to be able to even open that and add it into it and modify it that's how it works um it just has to work like that you know what i mean because and yeah i mean you just have to be able to download that save game to be able to even get it so that's that's the way you got to do it um and then after that let's see this is past probably 20 minutes right now but I, i'm almost done here to be honest you have to download um uh, you have to get a bunch of things actually you have to get make sure you have cmd well you probably will have command command prompt um if you have a mac i'm not sure how to do a mac honestly i'm sorry i won't be able to help for mac that much but for for windows 10 um you would go to cmd right open up cmd and then you're gonna type in um shit i think it's npm install but yeah you have to type in npm install and it's gonna install your uh aurelia well node.js slash aurelia project so you also have to download node.js and i'm gonna show you that too so like node right here node.js that's your uh that's another coding machine that you can use for modding for coding on your uh you know the uh, editor that you're gonna make and then this so once you get node.js so you get node.js and then you also have to get once you get that you have to get your bash installed which is this right here so you have to install git bash and git cmd it's like a lot of stuff but uh, you have to be able to use your bash command from your from your uh, command line. So git bash is another thing you have to install. It's like so many software, that, so, you know, so many programs and softwares that you have to install, which is crazy, but you have to do that. Um, so git bash, kind of like a Linux coded program, kind of kind of uses like a Linux format, Ubuntu Ubuntu format code. Um, so you have to get that and then once you get that pretty much this is how it works aurelia and it's gonna boot this aurelia cli that's your that's pretty much what you have to get your what you have to obtain what you have to get is aurelia cli yes that's what you have to get um and to install aurelia cli all you need is a node js and I, I think after node.js you can just literally go into cmd and type in npm install npm space install and then it's gonna just give you and i'll show you i think but i don't wanna i already installed it so i can't really fucking show you to be honest but let me see if it let me see if i can because npm install doesn't really work on mine if i do something yeah it's not I'm not really gonna do it because it's it's gonna fuck my thing up. I think so. 
but I'll, I'll show you guys you know the Aurelia app so like AU new so I'm gonna show you guys also how to you type in AU new and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so it, it actually brings up Aurelia app when you type in AU new command and then it pretty much lets you make your own uh, editor your own like empty editor like your own mod your own mod that you can code for vantage and that's how i found out i was like you know i didn't uh, until i installed aurelia i mean when i installed aurelia that's when i found out that you can just make this by just going to aurelia cli and do it and to be honest guys it shows you here how to do everything like if you go to this website on github i mean it's really simple it literally show you like it shows you like setup development you know assets like everything how to how to pretty much opt obtain everything and use everything for your benefit and that's how i got here to aurelia cli and it can literally you can literally code everything on this like it's pretty amazing app you can use so like say, let's say you're making a new project right so i'm gonna show you how this thing's done um please enter a name for your project so you're pretty much making a name for your mod so let's see uh, i'm gonna say like for example gta 5 mod and then it's gonna ask you would you like to use default setup or customize your choices default es next default typescript the uh custom uh you know to your choice you can choose it sorry 26 minutes goddamn well i'm gonna try to uh, kind of wrap this up guys but stay with me here we're almost done uh so to your choice is gonna ask you how to pretty much what to choose now i'm gonna be honest with you guys you guys probably not gonna understand what this shit is but i'm gonna try to break it down for you guys to make it easy this is like really hardcore coding shit so a lot of people won't get this i mean some people will and i hope that people that do get it can help the other guys that don't get it because nobody fucking helps anybody so um one, so first choice default uh i wouldn't choose that one because it kind of it's so basic the, what i'm going to tell you guys to go with is uh third choice which is the custom choice it's going to ask you when you click three it's going to ask you which module loader bundler would you like to use um uh, it's gonna say it requires JS um, file and module loader for JavaScript, system JS, dynamic ES module, Webpack, a powerful bundler. Um, you can use really anything. I would say three because it's it's giving you everything you want. So let's let's see. I'm gonna say three on it. Matter of fact, yeah, that should be the one. And then, what platform are you targeting? So, it's gonna ask you web, ASP.NET Core. Um, uh, the mod is actually more easy to cope with the ASP.NET Core because it's a web uh, development mod, actually. Uh, two, let's say, let's say um, yeah, let's say two, ASP.NET Core and then that's where you're gonna choose for that one. So what transpiler would you like to use? I'm gonna I use TypeScript. Um TypeScript is my favorite, but yeah, if you want ES next, I mean there's not really a huge thing with it, but it's open TypeScript is kinda of, kinda of more open source. Whew, I have to sneeze, but I'm trying to hold it. Whew. Sorry guys. All right, and then it's gonna ask you how would you like to set up your template? Um, default no markup, minimum. Uh, uh, let's see, remove comments, maximum. Remove comments, links. Uh, we're gonna say number one. I'm gonna go with the one. Uh, I think default is okay with it. You know, if you're if you're gonna code and you know make mistakes, 
it'll tell you, it'll let you know. Um, and it won't like literally go edit everything, you know what I mean? You want, you kind of want that freedom when you're coding, so it lets you know what what the fuck's going on. So if you're making a mistake, you can go back and fix it, and you know, be able to run your code and test it out. Um, it's gonna ask your CSS processor. Let's see. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fly through this. A tool. Let's see, sasless. Um. I could I could use five five is I'm gonna go with that but you, you don't have to go with five you can use like two or three honestly I'm using a powerful tool because I have like a MacBook Pro so I can fly through that shit but if you don't have like a fast computer uh, I would say go with two or three um, which unit test uh, runner would you like to use um, now on this one I recommend you use a uh, two karma karma is probably gonna work well with your testing unit and then would you like to configure integration testing um that's kind of a no because that kind of tool is not gonna need it honestly it's not really in that field that's required i mean you're not really making something that's like fucking crazy for you to like actually test the integrity of it it's not really going like a you know it's not really being officially published somewhere like a microsoft store or something so yeah that's that what is your default code editor so um for this one i would say you should probably use visual studio because it's really really um like flexible it goes it goes with a lot of stuff that you want to use um would you like to create this project so at the end of it, you, it's gonna ask you for the final time, would you like to make this project happen? And you're gonna say yes, and then it's gonna make your project, I'm gonna say no because I already made one, abort it. And then if you say no, it's gonna say project creation abort it. So when you exit the software, right, it's also gonna give you errors, but I don't really fucking care. It's like, every software has its bugs and errors, and this, this software honestly already is still like in it's like not fully development you know ser like actual phases it's yeah it's i, I think already is not fully like made yet i mean it's a project still and it's not i don't think it's fully developed yet it's a language kind of you know um but uh anyway so that's that you got to use already cli to make that shit happen and I'm gonna show you how it looks once you create your project, all right? So it, it looks literally just like the modding folder that you download, the editor that you download from Vantage's website. So you go to your, uh, you know, hard drive, your PC hard drive, and then you go to users, and your, your uh, folder will come up. Uh, mine is that folder right there and then once you go to users it's gonna show you right here it's gonna be in users it's gonna be right here and then I'm gonna just click on mine and that's how it looks it, I mean as you guys can see it looks literally identical to the fucking editor that you guys have right here it's fucking identical like literally uh, let me let me open this and compare it. like let's compare it Literally, it's fucking identical. Like, as you guys can see, it's fucking identical, guys. There's no difference. Uh, just a couple of more folders, and this is a, this is because I chose the third option on my... Um, this, is because, this is because I chose a more com complex coding, you know, process. And, uh, yeah. So that's why I gave me some more stuff, but... As you guys can see, I proved it. Literally, mo almost fucking identical, and that's how you start coding your stuff, you know. Um, and so that's that's pretty much it for for me, guys. I just wanted to show you how that's done. Um, I'm in that phase right now with Aurelia. I've been trying to kind of work it out to where I run it from my, you know, uh, normal software, but I'm gonna get to that later too. But uh, that's all, guys. That's all I had to say. 
Holy shit, it's been 34 minutes. I've been recording this video. God damn, that was a long fucking video. But uh, I think, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys watched this 34 minute video. Hope, hope it's not a waste. Um, but yeah, see you guys in my next video. Uh, God damn, my camera was too fucking low. I just saw that too. Um, yeah, hope it, hope it wasn't fucked up. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm going to try to post more often. Try to do it. But anyway, other than that, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Uh, I'll try to answer them. I'll try to answer them. I've been really busy. Really busy. Extremely busy. Um, and that's it, I think. Yeah, I'll leave all the stuff in the description. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, also uh, send me uh, messages on uh, Discord. Uh, I'll be on the Vantage Discord team chat. And send me messages on there. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, peace.